Hey guys, this is Brad with Utah Pet Access. This video is going to show you our conversion kit kind of setup on how we do our custom glass. This is only able to be done with the Flexidor Pet Door. The reason being is that the Flexidor Pet Door has only eighth inch um, trim, exterior trim pieces on the Pet Door. That's what allows it to still clear the slider. So this slider is um, kind of a custom job. It's a uh, sliding glass door with blinds inside. We did our own blinds. You're gonna have to with the custom notched. No manufacturer's gonna do it. Trust me, I've tried. Uh, what you're gonna get in the kit uh, from us is you're going to get the pet door, uh, which is just coming from Flex Door Pet Door. We don't manufacture or make it. Um, and then we apply a conversion kit to it. And from there, uh, Flex Door also sends you the two outside trim pieces, and then they send you um, a top and bottom piece. The top piece isn't being able to use, it's a J, we'll clear the slider, so we're gonna have to cut our own new top piece, and then we'll show you how to glue that on. And also what you're gonna get, um, you're gonna get a piece of wood to infill the bottom, something smooth, that way the tin applies nice and flat. You're gonna get a piece of tint, we'll probably put two of them in there just in case, make sure you know if you mess up. Um, you can probably get this locally somewhere, um, from there, the tools you're going to want, you're going to want your hair dryer, uh, cheapo $15 one at the, at the store, utility knife, scissors, glass cleaner, paper towels. The first step we're going to do is we're going to just uh, clean the surface. Just make sure that we've got really, really good clean surface uh, top and bottom because the tint's going to wrap down around. So first step, let's clean the surface really well both sides, make sure that we're gonna get good adhesion with the tint. Um, from there, we're going to set the piece of wood in, and then we are going to just shim it, make sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't move. We're gonna tint it, and then from there, we're gonna apply the pet door. So we'll go through those steps right now. So, and then Another thing you're going to kind of want to watch for is kind of cleaning these edges down here on, on both sides here. We want to make sure they're clean and free of debris for the wood sliding in there. Now that we've got that clean, let's take our piece of wood and then it's going to be a tight fit. The piece that we're sending to you is going to be bigger. You're going to have to trim it to fit. Sometimes the glass is a little bit crooked a little bit lopsided, so you're gonna to have to just work through it. You just wanna bring it up flush to the bottom of the, the glass, that way it's not sitting up and, and rocking, causing a rock. Looks like I got a gap right here. So we're just gonna take you know, a piece of shim and then we're just gonna push it in where we can. That way it's nice and flat. Then we're gonna take our tint. I just peeled the whole thing just from the start right there. And I'm just gonna lay it just about a quarter inch over the, the wood itself, kind of centering it on the notch. Kind of pull it tight, that way I get just nice adhesion. Now remember, don't push down on the wood too hard because if it's not super tight in there, you might just push it down and out. And you don't want to do that. So I just run my finger. This tint's not like normal tint. It's very workable. That's kind of why I just I, I want to keep pulling it and that's what's going to make it tight and then I just adhere it. So now that we got that, we're going to run our hair dryer and we're going to heat this thing up and get all the bubbles out make sure that the glue is drying to the wood and the glass. Okay, now we're gonna flip the glass over. We'll flip the glass over, that way we can finish the other side. You don't wanna do it from underneath, it's a little bit harder. So we're gonna flip the glass now. So 
So in every door Plexidor sends you, they send you a screw pack um, and, a, and a set of keys. Set of keys is for the top lock. Uh, that's why it's the best pit door in the market. Sluence outdoors, functions and only like that. There's a lot of screws in here you're not going to need. Um, so we just want to just identify which ones. It's, you need the machine screws. Um, they're two inch, 1032 screws. They have, they're white uh, painted on the top. These go in these four holes right here. So they're gonna go in these four holes. And then we're gonna take our outer trim pieces. We now know our door's centered. We're gonna take our outer trim pieces. Then we're gonna take our outer trim pieces. Now they are, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a chamfer only because of AutoCAD, but basically they have a rolled edge. Um, that rolled edge is gonna go out to outside of the edge of the glass. So this one's gonna go up like that. This one's gonna go up like that. So uh, one more tool comes helpful. You don't need it. You can kind of freehand, but you know I, I use my square. I just bump it up on the bottom of the glass, and I just from the distance of the bottom of the pet door down, and then I just cut a straight line down. This is just trimming the tint out. zoom in on this so they can just see that's a nice line down is what we got okay so at this point um, one other tool I forgot to mention at the start was a caulk gun um, you're gonna some caulk we use a GE you know 1800 series uh, I love this stuff whites you know uh, bright white um, we're going to need to caulk the top piece on. Um, the three pieces we have, um, you, like I said before, you get this J piece. This piece is just scrap aluminum. We don't need that piece. They'll give you your bottom piece, which we're going to put right here. It's going to butt to the bottom here. And then we're just going to screw it on with the two screws that come in the screw pack. It's the two little ones. So we're going to screw those ones on. And then we're going to glue our top piece on. Um, our top piece is just going to be the exact same thing, eighth inch aluminum. It's just going to sit right on the top there, nice and flat. Make sure it's not raised up from the caulk. Make sure it's, it stays nice and flat. Um, that's going to be critical for as it slides by each other. And that's how you apply Utah Pet Access's uh, conversion kit for the Plexi Door Pet Door. Um, same exact process on every single door. The extra large door, um, these uh, vertical pieces are a lot bigger. So sometimes you get a little bit of play in the vertical pieces. We just run a little bit of caulk before we kind of put those down on those ones. And then just fasten it that way. That way it'll, it'll stop the, the, you know, the flexibility in the vertical piece. Boom. Guys, this is the uh, final product here. Um, that way we get privacy as the blinds go down as well. So you can see we've got our blind kit unit in there. Uh, we'll get a, a magnet here and that magnet goes vertically up that side. Um, you can see it right here. So that's going to give us our control on the blinds.